Hello, welcome back to Bitwig Studios Beginners Course, DJ Vic Vapor with you. And what I want to talk about in this lesson is going over kind of uh, maybe a brief little idea of uh, putting some effects on your master chain, uh, nothing too in depth, and then how do we export this and get it out to our hard drive or on our computer and, you know, save for uh, whatever we need to, you know, use in a club or sending sending it off to a record label and things of that nature anyhow or sending out to probably a professional mastering engineer just a little groove here let that play in the background for us it's going to loop a couple times and let's jump over to our master channel mix I'm going to double click the header and it leaves this open for us to add some effects on the master. So let's clean it up a little bit and then export it. So real basic stuff here, it's the idea of the course. I've got a compressor, EQ5, and then a peak limiter. So I put those on the master channel, and there's no right or wrong here, it's just for this example. Just to kind of go through and clean up this loop a little bit uh, before we export it. So let's give it a little compression. Now we're going to add back what we've taken away over here. And then on the limiter, the idea here is it comes in already set at minus uh, 0 0.30 dB. You can adjust the gain here up and down if you like and the release time as well but I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down just a little bit further somewhere in there shouldn't be too bad now as we push the volume up we should start to notice a little bit of reduction there. So that's an extreme example. I would never probably go as far as minus four. I just wanted to let you guys see the reduction taking place and how it's being protected. And also give you a before and after on this just to let you see how effective the limiter can be. So with, without. And that's kind of the general idea. So let's say, you know, we're in a position now where we want to export this out and create uh, a file for our uh, a wave file for our project on our hard drive somewhere we want to go to file export audio and then you pick your location wherever you'd like that to be select your desktop whatever we'll go with desktop for now that's fine and you can title it. Now I'm just going to put example YouTube tutorial example. And then of course it's got listed down here do we want the master uh, individual tracks and things of that nature. Um, right now it's going to export our master and it's going to show the time range 
of the exported file and you hit OK and because it was just a short loop it should have bounced right out for us and there it is YouTube tutorial example right on the desktop and that is how you export files out of Bitwig Studio. Hope you've enjoyed the course this far. You know, I mean, I tried to approach it from a standpoint of being as basic as possible. Wasn't trying to, uh, you know, overwhelm you with all kinds of uh, industry jargon or things of that nature. I, I kind of went back and when I thought about putting this course together, wanted to put something together that would have made sense to me if I had just opened up my first DAW and someone to just you know be real basic about how they explain stuff that's kind of been the idea of this course and I think moving on as we get into other lessons we'll probably start to look at more advanced features and uh, you know things of that nature but I'm gonna let the uh, beginners course kind of settle in right here I think and move forward with the next lessons being added as uh, a more advanced course so once again thank you I appreciate uh, push and play and, and checking it out and subscribe like share all that fun stuff and if you have any questions or comments feel free to either shoot me an email or you know say something in uh, one of the comments I, I probably don't honestly uh, pay too much attention to that or respond directly through YouTube so if there is something you want to reach out and talk to me about that you don't maybe necessarily want to put in a public forum like YouTube's comment section feel free to jump over to the website and shoot me an email my email is available on our website so have a great day and stay tuned.